Unfortunately, Craig Council's called and told you uh, that you're out. Uh, he's, he's he's just taking every left-hander out early that that played for the yeah, Brewers. Yeah, I, I watched that yesterday. I don't know, Rich. What's your take? I'm, I'm sitting there yesterday <sighs> in four, a four-pitch walk, and he gets to first base, and you make the change, and it's about matchups. It's, it's and a- I don't know what's right or what's wrong, but I can tell you this, Rich. The last week of the season. I went to a game at City Field on Wednesday because I wanted to watch Jacob DeGrom's last start. I wanted to see the guy that's going to win the Cy Young Award, and I wanted to see him as a fan. I, I like you, we see sporting events every day, but I live in the New Jersey area, and I bought a ticket, went on StubHub, and I thought, wow, DeGrom's pitching Wednesday. I want to go watch him pitch. I would kind of feel yesterday, and I and listen, I played seven years for Milwaukee, so deep down inside, am I kind of rooting for Milwaukee? Yes. But I don't know what kind of look that is for baseball. That's just me. If we're looking to try to get matchups. If we're trying to keep people involved and young people involved watching the game, make it fast, after like game two, I don't know about you, Rich, but I'm getting tired of the 19 pitching changes. I am too, Dan. But here, I here's, am. but here's 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 where it is here, okay? Because I'm I'm a diehard guy. I'm watching these games no matter what. And, you know, I do do a lot of hand-wringing about what's good for baseball or not or what have you. That's, that's, to me, it, it's, it's the first instance I've ever seen of an analytics game of cat and mouse being played with the starting pitcher for one batter. Uh, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, at, at yeah. least we've seen the cat and mouse analytics for a reliever starting a game for one inning. I mean, like, we've seen that, and I, it, it yeah. drives me nuts because I always went to games looking at uh, who's the starting pitcher, and it would be a, the starting pitcher matchup to me would be something that excited me as a young fan, and maybe that's just me because I was really into it before. To me, it's just now it's, now it's gotten nuts. Like, now I'm, I'm playing a game of cat and mouse with my opposing manager because I know – my opposing manager has probably done what I've done prior to the game, which is sit at a table with eight people with their slide rules and their MIT, um, you know, uh, uh, degrees and their booklets and their thick, you know, uh, loose leaf binders to figure out what's the best way to get through the first two innings because then they're going to turn the lineup over and it's going to be lefty righty platoon. So it's got out of hand. It's gotten totally out of hand and. To me, October's about the Frankie Cabreras and Sid Breams, and I don't know if they'd get analytics out of the game, Dan. Amen. I know. And, and, that's and my f- sermon. I, I, and I am, I am word for word with you. And, and I'm watching this, these games, right? I've watched them all. And it's your heart's beating on every pitch. And I'm like you. Do I like White Miley coming out after one pitch? No. Do I like all the pitching changes? But I find myself, I've watched every pitch of every inning of both of the series right now. And it's it's... For a, for a fan, it's great, but I, I look at it this way, and maybe I am maybe the boat the, I have the boat left the dock, but I look at this Dodgers team, and they're a really good team. They they the problem with the National League was they had the Dodgers put to bed in July, and they just let them keep going and keep going. The Diamondbacks let them back in, and the Rockies let them back in, and you know what they are? They hang around and they hang around. I just wish this, and I know it won't happen, but I just wish – I don't know – I can't do this, like, analytically to back this up, but I wish they would stick with the lineup and let it go because they have some really good players. David Freeze has hit off of righties in his career. Max Muncy's hit off of lefties in his career. I get it. I, I think that has surprised me the most in the Dodgers-Brewer series is I, I have just – I amazed at how well these young Brewer relief pitchers, Woodruff, Burns, have thrown under a lot of pressure. I mean, these guys aren't coming into games where the Brewers are winning 6-1 to one in the fifth inning. These guys are coming, like yesterday, Woodruff. I mean, he's come. That's basically starting a game. He did. He I did. Mean, that's what it was yesterday. Yes. And these guys are these are guys that when the season started weren't even on the stratosphere for in their plans as far as at the big league level. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.